Yeah, it's time for Interactive now. Remember, you can download the Sportsmax app from the Google Play Store or the App Store. Watch a variety of live sports action while on the go and communicate with us through the live chat feature. Also check out our clips on X, Instagram and YouTube. Now Leighton will love this one. Um, on Monday, Liverpool broke the record for the most XG that's expected goals cool, created, created in, a, in a Premier League game. And this is how football fans reacted on X. Redox says, honestly, our chance creation this season has been crazy. Long may it continue because it will win us games. Moby says this game would have finished 8-2 if we could finish better. No excuses for all these easy ones that we that were missed. Kai says if Nunes can actually learn to be clinical, we're winning the league 1 million percent. <laughs> Mr. Farah says we would have scored 8 or 9 if we were serious with our finishing. Ash says 7.5 XG is utterly ridiculous. Yeah, and I think you were saying just ahead of the segment, Leighton, that if they were finishing as they should, they would have scored probably eight goals. Listen, Liverpool had 18 shots in the first half on goal, and I think it was like seven or eight on target. Yes. Um, Gadpo had one that was, Dubravka was out of his, keeping out of his yeah. skin because he saved some sure goals in the first half. Yes. And of course, Salah missed a penalty. Mm -hmm. Um, Nunes missed one that he should have he should have scored at least one because the other cuts two were more difficult. Yeah. One was a shot on the run, but there was one that he clearly should have scored. Um, it could have easily been five nil at the end of the first half. That's how good Liverpool were in the first half against Newcastle. Yeah. We're totally dominant. Okay. So the XG the XG of seven point five was, I think, even with that being exceptional, was within. Mm -hmm. Normal, the normal realms of possibility given what we saw in the first half because it could have been a lot higher. Yeah, okay. Um, I think this is going to be our final um, portion of the interactive segment. 22 time Grand Slam champion Rafael Nadal, Ricardo should be here for this one, <laughs> has returned to competitive tennis with a brilliant straight set victory over Dominic Thiem in the first round of the Brisbane International earlier on Tuesday. And let's see what persons are saying upon his return. Rafa Sage says it's fabulous to see him back. We've missed him. Mike ATL says, welcome back to the Spanish legend. Good luck in 2024. Vamos. Rafa, first win after his comeback. First win for 2024. May, are they, may there be many, many more. That coming from Yesh. Mm. Yeah, Ricardo said at the end of last year's uh, Sports Max Zone presentations that he's expecting Rafa to be back and competitive. Absolutely. One the, look, there is a big debate about who's the greatest tennis player of all time. Rafael um, Nadal is one of, one of those three for In me. In the conversation, yeah. Yeah, because he's been so phenomenal. And he fights through injury. He fights through all the adversity against people like Federer and, of course, Novak Djokovic, the other greats, and yeah. continues to yeah. do amazing things. That he's coming back now at this age yes. from that injury. I'm keen to see what he's able to do because I think he's going to yeah. do well. Leighton, great having you on the Sports Max Zone today, stepping in at the last minute because Ricardo couldn't make the show yeah, today. Back on vacation we after are expecting. <laughs> yeah, he's on vacation, actually, and he stepped in. Well, good on you, mate. Um, Mariah is scheduled to be back on the show today, so we look forward to seeing uh, the Trini back in studio. Yeah, See I love it. Bye, guys. <laughs>